Hello, everyone. Welcome to another special episode of Specialist Spotlight, where we're talking about lightening curly hair. This is my gorgeous model, AV, and I'm going to talk you through the four steps you need to be aware of in order to successfully lighten curly hair. So first off, we're starting with detangling. I like to use the Tea Tree Lavender Mint Nourishing Oil, but really the key here is any sort of leave-in or oil just to start to separate and spread out those curls. What I'm looking for in this situation is any big tangles, pulling them out, stretching the hair, really making sure that I'm setting myself for up for a proper detangle so that my guest is more comfortable in the lightning experience and I can actually be more efficient because that efficiency is really important. So once I've gone through and done my full finger detangle, I'm using my 427 brush which I turn vertically so that I get maximum detangling and you'll notice with one hand I'm holding the hair and that's to prevent any sort of discomfort for my guest and then with the other hand obviously brushing through. I want to keep detangling until I can fully brush through the entire section without any sort of catches or snags in the hair. So now that we're fully detangled, we're going to start mixing up our lightener. I'm using Synchro Lift Plus and I will be using 10 volume developer here. Now a lot of people ask like, hey, how can you lighten hair with 10 volume developer? How do you get from you know, level three natural all the way up to a level eight, nine, 10? Well, the thing about Synchro Lift Plus is it'll lift us up to nine levels, but also it's not the volume of developer that gets you there, it's your mechanics as the colorist. And that's where this becomes really, really key. I'm adding in a new member of our color bar, Bond RX. This is a professional bond builder. So it not only encapsulates every strand and strengthens it. It also seals in with a last layer of lipids so the hair is super shiny on top of being strong and healthy. Now this is the first thing that you need to be aware of when you're lightening curly hair is your section size. So you'll notice this section size is really thin. I can read a text message or a newspaper through it if you will. And that section size needs to be consistent in order to fully lift with a ton volume developer. So that is the number one component, your section size. As long as you keep that consistent, you will absolutely get the lift. You are the brains and the muscles behind this operation, so be aware of it. As you go through, you'll notice I'm gonna come mid-strand and I'm actually teasing up kind of her true length. She has those wispy bits at the end. We love those, we wanna keep them, but we're not gonna tease them up out of the way. So the reason I tease is to soften a line of demarcation between the natural and where the lightning starts to happen. And again, where we talked about how our section size is really, really key, I wanna make sure it's nice and thin and consistent. Next up, we're gonna talk about saturation. I'm using the lightener here to stretch the curly hair. So that acts almost as like a glue to the foil so I can make sure I'm getting really consistent and even saturation. This is the second step to getting really, really beautiful lift in an end result, especially when you're using a low volume of developer. So I like to go through crisscross applesauce as I'm working through just to make sure I'm pushing all of that hair flat against the foil and really pushing that lightener into the hair to make sure to get that even lift. So I'm continuing this application all throughout being really, really disciplined on my section size and then also in my saturation. So once I have that all completely in, I'm gonna let it process for the full 45 minutes, which is really, really key in the success of your end result. Do not pull your lightener off before it's ready. I think so often in the salon we get in a rush and we wanna pull off our lightener. If we just wait an extra five, 10, sometimes 15 minutes, you'll notice that you're gonna get an even consistent lift that is so beautiful and actually creates the result that you want and you don't have to waste time trying to formulate or reformulate to neutralize unwanted tones. You'll see this warm golden blonde on Avian in just a minute, but I wanna recap the four key components to lightening curly hair. Number one, make sure you take time to detangle, set yourself up to win, and then the trifecta of lightening, section size, saturation, and processing time. Make sure to check our other episodes of Specialist Spotlight out on Paul Mitchell Pro's YouTube, and we'll see you next time.